Right, with us we are the Deputy Minister of Sport, Juliet Kavetuna, and we're here at the launch of the Namibia Newspaper Cup, the 15th year of this competition. Ms. Kavetuna, just tell us a bit about what does this competition mean to the Namibian youth? Yeah, actually, i actually very happy about this competition because it's an instrument that we can use in order to achieve a lot of things, especially in terms of development, in terms of unity, in terms of nation building, in terms of creating entrepreneurs, in terms of every little thing that we think is possible in order for us to achieve a better Namibia. Right, and you've personally also helped... Um the profile of this tournament amongst the, the uh, government as well. Just tell us a bit about that and the letters you wrote to the governors a few years ago. Uh, I actually felt that uh, when I came into office, I came into December 2012. Uh, in 2013, when Tangeni and the NFA visited my office in order for them to, to lobby for support because the ministry was never on board. I have realized two things that I was supposed to be very instrumental in. The first one is actually the involvement of our ministry because I believe that development is our mandate. We are not a professional body, we are not encouraging, we are not supporting professional bodies, but we are supporting the development of sport. And actually it's what the Namibian was doing. So I felt that we should be playing a major role in order for us to come on board because it, the, NF, uh, the, the Namibian and the NFA was already advancing what is ours, our, supposed to be our responsibility. So, and, uh, and that was that the first one. And the second one was, I felt that there is nothing going on unless you have the political will. The political involvement of leaders from all structures, especially when you are talking about regional representation. It's not good enough that the governor doesn't know that his uh, team is representing a region in a competition like this. So it's a letter that I have written to all for 13 governors by then. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the only governor who came back to me was a governor of Konene who committed that we are not having a capacity this time, but I must make sure that we must bear in mind that 2015 they will be ready. Here they are. The governor of Erongo have also committed by saying that they could not compete, that they, but they have, they have responded directly to NFA to say that they come to compete to be. But uh, unfortunately, Oshikoto have won the, the bid. So it is why it was so, it became a, a, a regional thing because the political head, the, the structures of the, the office of the, uh, the chief regional officer, the mayors of all the towns, everybody came in big numbers, even the three, uh, the three regions that beat in, in 2013. They came for 2014. They came with big, big delegations in order for them. So, and I believe that it is, it was the correct thing to do because the, the political mandate also should be a diverse one, even in terms of sport, not only by social issues. Right, and finally, um, this specific tournament now in Uchu, the uh, slogan is uh, kick it out, but it also relates to the rhino poaching in Namibia. Just tell us a bit about that. Yeah, I am actually moved by the by the motto because it it talks to something that many people doesn't really take so much uh, 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 as their responsibility. Who knows what is a rhino? Who dare? What is what is the rhino eating? Or who is killing it? Or where the, the tax are going? But very very important is that the the colleagues from uh, Kunene have thought out of the box. They came up with this big big thing. It's an international crisis that the rhino are being wiped out. They have a purpose in the nature. They are actually very, one of the most precious animals that nature have ever created. So if you wipe it out, our future generation will never know what was the rhino all about. So I feel that they have actually distinguished themselves by coming up with this motto and even in their logo to put a rhino that is so angry because they are really feeling that they have been depriving of their rights to live freely, they are deprived of their right to be uh, animals uh, that can, can, uh, can be uh, future animals that are not wiped out by uh, reckless, greedy individuals of this world.